Okay, welcome students to the first of our online lessons. My name is Mr. Bill and I will be teaching you some of your lessons while Mr. James will be teaching you some others. As you are aware, the coronavirus still continues to be a major concern. At this stage, we are unable to have students return to school. However, that doesn't mean that we will suspend lessons. We will be offering a series of online lessons for you to continue your learning. These re lessons rely on you actually taking part and doing the activities provided. If we all work together, we will be able to limit the disruption to your learning. For these lessons, you will require a notebook to record the assigned activities. All tasks done in your notebooks will require a parent or guardian signature. They will also need to be dated. Upon your return to school, we will be checking these notebooks to see who is on task. We will be marking your work together online, so there is an honesty element involved in this. Remember, if you cheat, you are really only cheating yourself. On a personal note, I hope that you're all happy, safe and well. I am really looking forward to working with you in English this year. I think that we will have a great year with lots of growth. Okay, the first thing I want to look at is nouns. There are three main types of words in the English language. They are verbs, nouns and adjectives. Today we are going to be learnt to learn about nouns. Do you know what type of word is a noun? Is it an action word? Is it a naming word? Is it a describing word? Hmm. A noun is a naming word. It names a person, place, animal and thing. Before we go any further, write five nouns in your notebooks. Pause the video now and write your five nouns. When you have finished, return to the video. Okay, what words have you got? Do you have a noun for a person? Do you have a noun for a place? What about an animal? Do any of your nouns name things? So nouns basically name people, places, animals and things. We're surrounded by nouns. There are two types of nouns though, a common noun and a proper noun. Do you know the difference? Nouns can also name ideas like love and honesty. A common noun is the general name of something. A boy, a girl, a tree, a desk, a school. We hear these words and we know what they are. A proper noun, though, is the name of a specific thing. I will give you some sentence examples. I met a boy at the park. His name was Porn. The words are highlighted. Boy is a common noun, but the name Porn is a proper noun. A boy could be any boy, but Porn is the name of the boy I met at the park. Boy does not need a capital letter unless it is the start of a sentence like this one. Porn always requires a capital letter, no matter where it is in the sentence. The girl named Sally had a beautiful dress. Her name was Sally. It has a capital letter. It's her proper name. That's my neighbor's dog. His name is Killer. Killer gets a capital K because it's the name of the dog. The dog's name's Killer. Scared of that dog. The tree is called a maple tree. Maple, capital M. Maple tree. I love school. I go to Assumption College. Assumption College. Both have capitals. 
Our proper nouns are the names of actual places or actual people. Before we do the task for this topic, I'd like to pause the video and click on the link noun video. When you've finished, come back to the main video. Okay. Okay, click on the video link in the comments below. Okay, task time. At the end of the lesson, I want you to open the link noun chart. I'll have to open it for you. Copy it onto your notebooks, record the six examples that I have given, and then add four more of each in your in each column. Get a parent or guardian to sign it. This is an easy task. I'll open it for you now. Okay, that's your noun chart. Person, place, animal, and thing. There are six already recorded for you. You need to come up with four of your own. Really simple. Record that in your books. Okay, got that? Excellent. Remember, you can pause this, take as much time over it as you want. Pronouns replace proper nouns and common nouns in a sentence. Once a noun has been introduced, you can replace it with a pronoun. This helps you from repeating the same noun over and over again. It was, it is very useful with proper nouns with long names like Assumption College Samut Prakant. Here is an example. Assumption College Samut Prakant is a modern school in Samut Prakant. Assumption College Samut Prakant offers the students a large range of both academic and sporting opportunities. Assumption College Samut Prakant caters for students from primary one through to secondary five level. I'm saying Samut Prakant a lot. Okay, it's a lot of writing, it's a lot of extra reading. If I replace it with a pronoun, it looks like this. Assumption College Samut Prakant is a modern school in Samut Prakant. It offers its students a large range of both academics and sporting opportunities. It caters for students from primary one through to secondary five level. You can easily see from this example that replacing Assumption College Samut Prakan with the pronoun it, that both the reading and the writing is greatly reduced. Okay, so pronouns are your friend. Learn your pronouns. Not one pronoun does all. There are different pronouns for different things, depending on gender and number. To understand the different pronouns better, watch the video link, pronoun video. Okay, there's the link here. You'll find this down in the comments below. Okay. So now you have an idea of what the different pronouns are. Many of these you already know how to use. Unfortunately, it's not that easy. There are also other types of pronouns you need to know, like the demonstrative pronouns, this, that, these, and those. There are way too many for me to cover in one lesson, but I am going to give you a reading sheet. This is your task for this section. To read the sheet and become familiar with the different pronouns. Okay, I'll open that up for you now. Okay, different types of pronouns. I'm not going to read this through with you guys. I'm just going to scroll down. You're going to have to read it in your own leisure. I'll scroll down for you now.
okay, there's quite a bit there to learn, but you can take your time with it, work at your own pace. Try to get a good understanding of those pronouns, please. Okay. To understand the different pronouns better, watch the video link, pronoun video one. Okay, these are all links to different pronoun videos to help you with it. Okay, I'll just... Leave that up there for you to look at. It's more links, it's links to those videos. Okay, and that's this week's first lesson. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the lesson and I hope that you can manage all those tasks okay. And I will see you again next week. Thank you.